Pastor Manzi here once again. I'm glad that you joined me. Have you seen the scripture that says, Can two walk together except they agree? It's in the book of Amos. Well, it's a rhetoric question. Can two walk together except they agree? In other words, two cannot walk together except they agree. And the same is true with our walk with God. If we are going to walk with God, it's important that we agree with God, especially on the major things in life. There's something I want us to agree with God about. The Bible says in the book of uh, 1 Peter, chapter number 2 and verse number 9, it says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now the Bible is calling you and I a peculiar people. He's saying you're a peculiar people, peculiar people. I like telling people that the peculiar people means you're special, but not just special, you're special in a special way. So now, you need to understand that this is God, the creator of heaven and earth, saying that you are peculiar. If God thinks you are special, trust me, you are quite special. And the Bible is saying that it's important that we agree with God that we are special. You and I, we are special. We are not ordinary. You and I may walk around the streets of Kampala dressed like everyone else, but we're not like everyone else. God has marked us and called us peculiar. God has marked us and called us special. Now, of course, someone may be saying that ah, you get, that is how you people start becoming proud. No, 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 no. It's not being proud. It's agreeing with God. I'm special. I'm peculiar. God looks at me and he says, wow, he is special. Now, it's important that that is your mindset. That you know that you're special. Why? Because when you know that you're special, you will expect special things. There are things that God will do for you not exceeding your expectation. Sometimes it's our expectation that has limited God. Because we think we're we think we like everyone else, we expect life like everyone else. And we end up living like everyone else. But the Bible is telling us that we are special and peculiar. Therefore, we should expect special things. We should expect a special life. We should expect God to do for us special things. Why? Because we are special. There are things that God will do for you just because you've acknowledged that you're special. There are things that God will cause other people to do for you just because you are special. A story is told of Elijah when he left the brook and went to, 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 to meet the widow. God told him that you have commanded the widow to feed you. This is a widow who had only one meal left for her and her child and her son. And God said that I've commanded her to feed you. Elijah went there, met the widow. You know that you read the story. And at the end of the day, the widow fed Elijah. Well, of course, that helped her to be sustained, but you know, you need to acknowledge that the widow fed Elijah with her last meal. Ladies and gentlemen, that can only happen for someone special. God will cause people to do for you things that they would have never done for anyone else. Why? Because you're special. So you may be wondering, why would God do that? Because you're special. Acknowledge it because you need to walk in agreement with God and say that you are special and peculiar. If he has called you special, you are special. Therefore, expect special things. Expect God to move people on your behalf. Expect God to do things on your behalf. Why? Because you are special. Let this be your mindset. Wake up in the morning knowing that I am special. I am special in the eyes of God. Glory to God. Never forget that. I'm Pastor Magzi. Till next time.